Okay, you've got everything set up on your computer. You've got the screen recording program set up to record everything in HD. So let's take a look at an example uh, for your first screencast recording and kind of put all the pieces together so you can see what it looks like and how things are going to work on um, an actual screen. So here's our web browser. And so again, we're going to resize this to our HD dimension, 1280 by 720, using our resizer down here. So I'll just right click on that, click on my 1280 by 720 um, screen resolution there, and automatically set that in my browser. So now that I've got my browser window set to the exact dimensions that I need for my high resolution video, um, now I'm ready to start recording. And the way that most of these are going to work, for the most part, we're going to be recording whole applications, um, not little you know, bitty pieces of desktop applications. And so we'll be able to set the screen size of all of these to the browser window that we use um, for our template, which is um, we're using the fire size to get 1280 by 720. So we'll use this to resize all of our under other windows. And so let's take a look at how to set the recording and kind of what's going to happen and what the viewer is going to see on the screen. So first of all, let's pop in and hit record. So again, it's popping up and telling me select the window that we want to record, and we're going to want to select our high definition size browser window that we're using as our template frame. And then we'll hit record, and again, it's going to count down for us, give us a chance to get ready, and then it will give us a ding to let us know that we are now recording. So everything inside of this 1280 by 720 window that you see on your screen is being recorded and will get exported in the final video. So if we're working with other programs that we want to show on the screen, we simply want to make sure that what we want to show shows up inside the dimensions of the template browser window that we're using. And so if we're using another application, what we'll want to do is actually just resize it to the exact dimensions. Of course, we'll do this before we record, but I want to show you how this works. And so we'll resize this to the exact dimensions that we need. And then we can use our toolbar down here at the bottom to just flip back and forth between screens as we're moving back and forth between different applications that we want to show. But it's only going to show, again, what's inside of that initial browser frame that we're using as our template. And so, again, I could have another application. And, and later on in this session, we'll look at using multiple programs and kind of how to go back and forth between these depending on what you're wanting to show and what you're wanting to do in your presentation but again manually resizing other windows using that browser as your template so then you can flip back and forth um, working through your different applications working through your different screens and we'll look at how to do each of these between your different browser windows, PowerPoint, and some other applications used for um, teaching and, and building interactive tools um, online. And so basically the, the hardest thing to kind of get your brain around is, again, setting that initial screen size using your browser. And then the other trick really is just getting your other windows, manually resizing those to the exact dimensions that we need. And again, I've got um, my short key set up and so all I have to do to stop is just hit my F9 key and it's going to stop and load for me and I'll be ready to save that and move on which we'll look at how to do in the next video.